This is the second in a series of short videos designed to help academics and others more efficiently organize reading materials. If you haven't watched the series' first video, in which I outline a process for capturing, organizing, and accessing PDFs, I recommend taking a few minutes to do so. This video shows you how to handle a book or other work that's split among multiple PDFs. We'll start by looking at some limitations to what Zotero and Zotfile can do here, before turning to potential strategies in the Apple OS. Different publishers and online databases have you access collections of PDFs in different ways. Let's start with JSTOR. I tweeted last year about how Zotfile can help you automate the download process for the various PDFs that comprise a book. The tricks seem to be accepting JSTOR's terms of service before selecting all the chapters from the Zotero browser plugins folder option up here. Click that, select, we see the entries populating our Zotero library and then adding the attachments which Zotfile then renames. However, this approach has some drawbacks. I've run into books where each chapter ended up with its own Zotero item like we see here, but if you open the accompanying PDFs themselves, they were multiple copies of the book's front matter. More importantly, it's not that convenient to have 10 or 12 PDFs for each book cluttering our Zotero library and drive folder, particularly with PDFs that no longer have identifying chapter numbers because Zotfile has renamed them following the different convention that we see here. I'll show you what to do instead. I'd go ahead and download each of the PDFs for this book, then put them in their own folder. I've gone ahead and done that here. I'd also make sure that the files are listed by name and not by another field, so that the final PDF compiles in the correct order. We have several options for doing this, the first of which is the full version of Adobe Acrobat. So we'd select combine files into PDF and simply drag and drop them here. And this is generally pretty quick, the files here are a bit longer, but the other limitations to this strategy are that this involves opening another app. You moreover have to have access in the first place to the full version of Acrobat. So the second option is therefore to build a shortcut in OS X. In the latest versions of OS X, this is called a quick action. In older versions, including what I'll show you here, it's called a service. You can call up the service quick action menu by right or control clicking in the finder. OS X comes with a bunch of services preloaded, so let's disable some of those first to declutter the menu for when we add the new service to combine our PDFs. So we see the Acrobat there, finish, we'll go ahead and close that. So if we go up to system preferences and search for keyboard shortcuts. We'll have that come up. Here under services, you can see we have things like import image already selected, open terminal at folder, a bunch of different options. So go ahead and unclick most of those. And with that done, go to Automator, which is located in the Applications folder. It comes preloaded with OS X. In my second research methods video, which I've posted the link to below, I go through creating workflows. Now that we're going to select service here. Automator allows you to assemble preloaded actions into a workflow. And the nice thing about services or quick actions is that they're embedded in your OS. So you can open the workflow with just a couple clicks rather than having to open Automator again. So to build a service to combine PDFs, we just have to put together a couple of actions. The first thing we want to do up here in this drop-down menu is select PDF files. Over here, just select uh, PDF files in Finder. And then search the actions library over here for this preloaded combine PDFs action. And we'll just drop that there. We want to leave the default of appending pages. Now, in order to keep track of where the output for combining the PDFs ends up, we'll want to move finder items. And the default there is the desktop, and we'll leave it at that. I also like to ensure that our combined PDF has an obvious name. So the last step in this workflow is to add rename finder items. And I'm just going to name single item, and we'll call it combined PDF. Now that we've put together the workflow, we'll save the service to combine PDFs. We'll then go over to the folder where we saved all of our PDFs from JSTOR. Select all the files, control or right click, and then under services, or again, 
under quick actions in the latest OS 10, we'll select the combined PDF service that we made. You'll see then at the top of the menu bar, this little gear icon worrying. That tells us that the service is going ahead and working in the background. These are slightly larger files, so this will just take a minute, but it runs in the background so we can go start checking our email or whatever while we wait for this to finish. All right, we'll then put it out on the desktop. You see here, we're all set. Here's our combined PDF. One last comment. JSTOR chapter PDFs each have a separate title page. So there's the front matter, here's the table of contents, which would have been the next PDF that we downloaded. There are ways to have Automate or delete these title pages, but I haven't gotten any of these me methods to work. I have managed to separate the chapter PDFs into individual pages, delete that title page, and then merge the remaining pages into a single PDF. But this ends up creating a merged PDF at the end that takes up more hard drive space. Leaving the title pages in our merge PDF, original merge PDF as is, isn't a big deal in terms of space and we can always delete them manually. But if you have an answer to this question, please let me know. The third video in this series will walk through how to get that PDF we've just created into Zotero and sync to our Google Drive connected folder. Subscribe to my channel to see that video and more.